James Gunn deactivates Facebook page after his controversial Batman comments. DC Studios boss James Gunn nixed one of his social media accounts following the resurfacing of some old comments he made about Christopher Nolan and Tim Burton's Batman films. In late 2022, Gunn and Peter Safran were appointed as co-CEOs of DC Studios, overseeing the direction of the new DCU in film and television. Amongst a range of exciting announcements for the DC slate also came the promise of a new Batman film. Gunn has always been an active presence online, often using his social media accounts to not only promote his films, but to interact with fans and answer their questions about his upcoming work. However, that will no longer happen on Gunn's Facebook account. It appears that James Gunn has recently deactivated his personal Facebook account. The director had been posting on it as recently as last week, but visiting the link to his page now serves users with a content-deleted message. Gunn's professional Facebook page, however, is still active. Gunn hasn't commented publicly as to why he deactivated his account. However, recently, some old comments he made about past Batman films on this personal Facebook account resurfaced online. In a series of comments posted to Facebook in 2012, Gunn said Michael Keaton's Batman had a ridiculous voice. He added that Tim Burton's Batman was poorly written and is one of the most boring films ever. The director also piled onto Jack Nicholson's portrayal of the Joker, saying, fuck you, everyone involved in that travesty. Gunn also raised issues with Nolan's Batman films, saying, I have problems with both of Nolan's films. I don't think either one is classic and I don't even really think Batman Begins is good. When it comes to the context of these comments, it's worth noting that Gunn posted them 11 years ago, long before he had ever worked with DC. It now seems likely his new position at DC Studios may have caused him to deactivate his account in order to stop these comments from spreading. This isn't the first time Gunn's old opinions have caused controversy. In 2018, Disney severed ties with Gunn, who was in the midst of directing his Guardians of the Galaxy trilogy, due to the resurfacing of controversial jokes he made on Twitter between 2008 and 2012. At the time, Gunn issued a statement offering his deepest apologies and saying that his words don't reflect the person I am today or have been for some time. In March 2019, he was reinstated by Disney as director of Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Apart from Gunn's deactivation of his account, no action has been taken by DC in relation to the resurfacing of these comments.